Thank you for choosing the MicroPoint Q-Labs PTINR monitoring system for patient self-testing. The Q-Labs is designed to provide quantitative measurements of prothrombin time and international normalized ratio in fresh capillary whole blood for patients taking oral anticoagulants who require monitoring of PTINR regularly. The Q-Labs PTINR monitoring system is a reliable, quick test method for coagulation measurement directly in your home. Before starting to perform a test, review the components in the QLabs package, read the quick start guide and the user manual. One QLabs electrometer, one power adapter, one USB cable, one user manual, one quick start guide, one USB flash drive, one carrying case, one lancet device and lancet needles. Important tips. Keep the Q-Labs electrometer away from direct sunlight, high heat, and strong magnetic fields. Place the meter on a flat surface and do not handhold or move the meter when performing the test. The Q-Labs is equipped with a touchscreen. At the top is the power supply jack and data port. On the left side of meter, there is a power button. On the right, there is a code chip slot where the code chip will be inserted. At the bottom, there is a test strip guide. On the back of the Q-Labs is the battery cover, the foot pad, and magnetic charging port. When the battery is running low, connect the Q-Labs with the power adapter to the external power supply. Fully charge the Q-Labs for 3.5 hours prior to first use. Press the power button for 2 seconds. The Q-Labs will beep to enter the main menu. When inserting the strip directly into the slot, the Q-Labs switches on automatically and brings you to the test menu. To shut down the Q-Labs, press and hold the power button for 2 seconds. From the main menu, you can see three icons, Test, Results, and Settings. Click the Settings icon from the main menu to change the language, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, test parameter or system parameter. Click backward to return to the previous menu and click home to return to the main menu. The QLabs Q3 system supports 17 different languages. Click language to select the language you prefer from the list. The QLabs supports Wi-Fi connectivity. Click Wi-Fi from settings menu. Click the Wi-Fi button to turn on or off. When Wi-Fi is turned on, the Wi-Fi icon in the upper right corner of the menu is highlighted. The QLab searches nearby hotspot list automatically. Click the hotspot name and input the password to finish connecting. Click the server to input the server IP address and port number if necessary. Click Bluetooth from settings menu. Click the Bluetooth button to turn on or off. When both the Bluetooth and Discoverable buttons are turned on, the Q-Labs can be searched and connected by other Bluetooth devices. If Bluetooth is enabled and Discoverable is off, click one device from the list. When the Q-Labs shows Check, connection is completed. Click the Search button to manually search for the connectable Bluetooth devices. The code chip contains important information to perform the test including the test item, code chip number, and the expiration date. The code chip is required whenever a new test strip law is used. To implement insertion of the code chip, click Test Parameter from Settings and then click Code Chip. Install the new code chip by inserting the code chip into the code chip slot. Insert the code chip with arrow facing up. The code chip information will be automatically installed and displayed in the list. It is recommended to leave the code chip in the slot to protect the electronic contacts in the Q-Labs from moisture and magnetic fields. If necessary, click the bin icon and select to delete the code chips you don't need. Click Reference Range from the Test Parameter menu and click the button to enable the reference range. Input your personal reference range according to the advice from medical care providers. Set the lower and upper value limits. Click Check to confirm the input. Test results out of the range will be displayed with the up or down arrows. 
Click INR Precision from the Test Parameter menu to set the number of decimal points preferred, either as 0.1 or 0.01. Click PT Units from the Test Parameter menu to set the Test Result Display format to be PT INR QC or PT INR INR only or INR with Q percentile. Click System Parameter for further settings. To set the date and time according to your local time, click Check to confirm. Click the button to turn on or off the beeper. The volume could be high, medium, or low. Click the brightness from 1 to 10, 1 being the darkest and 10 being the brightest. Click to turn on or off the auto sleep. Set the idle time 2 to 10 minutes. Click the button to turn on or off the auto print upload function. Auto print and auto upload are only used when the Q-Labs is connected with the eStation 2 or DMS. Click to turn on or off the transport mode. Transport mode is used to protect the battery during long-term storage. First time use when new or after long-term storage, connect the Q-Labs with external power supply. The transport mode will turn off automatically after the Q-Lab starts booting. Click about the device, you can check the version, device status, and system log. After setting up the Q-Labs, this demonstration will describe how to perform a test with the PT-INR strip. Let's start with the PT-INR test strips. The PT-INR test strips are purchased separately and are available in 12, 24, and 48 strip options. Consult the user manual and test strip insert before you set up the Q-Labs or perform any test. Each Q-Labs PT-INR test strips package including the following materials. 12 PT-INR test strips, 1 code chip, 1 insert. Important tips. The Q-Labs PT-INR test strips should be stored at room temperature, below 32 degrees Celsius. Do not freeze the strips. Use the test strip within 10 minutes of opening the foil pouch. Before using the Q-Labs PT-INR system to perform a test, please make sure you have materials shown here. 1. Q-Labs Electrometer Q-Labs PT-INR test strips together with the code chip alcohol cottons, bandages, lancets, medical waste collection box. Remember to install the code chip whenever a new test strip lot is used. Install code chip by inserting the strip code chip into the code chip slot. Insert the code chip with arrow facing up. The code chip will be automatically be installed and displayed in the list. Once the code chip is installed, the Q-Labs keeps a record of code chips. It is not necessary to re-enter the same code every time a new test is run. If the input code chip number doesn't match the code chip information, QLabs will prompt a warning message. Install the correct code chip to resume testing. To test PT-INR with finger stick sample, wash your hands with warm water and then dry them thoroughly before you test your PT-INR value. To maximize blood circulation, it is recommended to warm your hand in warm water or with a heating pad. Massage the finger with a downward motion several times. Identify a site on the finger to puncture. It is recommended the middle fingers or ring finger of either hand, near the top of finger on the other side away from any calluses or scars. Clean the selected finger area with 70% isopropyl alcohol or an alcohol pad. Dry thoroughly with cotton or gauze. When everything is ready, click the test icon from the main menu, insert the test strip into the Q-Labs. Please note that the arrow must face up. Input and confirm the strip code chip numbers printed on the pouch, then click check to confirm. If the code chip you are using has not been installed, input the code chip numbers and install the code chip here. Important tips. The Q-Labs should be placed on a level surface that is free of vibration for convenient sample addition. Do not move or touch the Q-Labs during the test. Do not hold the Q-Labs in your hands during the testing. Do not exceed 30 seconds from finger stick to adding the blood sample. Add sample within 300 seconds countdown. Do not squeeze the finger, which may lead to inaccurate results. 
The sample should be added in one continuous operation. Do not reapply additional sample or apply more than one drop of sample. After the code chip is installed, the Q-Labs will go to the heating state and the display the heating progress. After the completion of the heating step, the sample must be added within 300 seconds. If this time window is missed, the system will deliver an error message, indicating sample addition time is out. Wait until the heating progress turns to Add Sample. Do not add the sample before the Q-Labs prompts Add Sample. Puncture the finger with a 23-gauge or larger lancet device is recommended. Do not use a lancet that is used for blood sugar testing. Apply gentle, continuous pressure until a large hanging drop of blood forms. Add one large hanging drop of blood, at least 10 microliter, to the sample well of the strip. Please note, this is an incorrect operation when missing the target sample well when adding sample. If this happens, discard this strip and try a new one with correct operations. After the sample is added properly, the Q-Labs starts the test automatically and displays the test progress. The Q-Labs prompts test results after the test. When the result is out of the reference range, the Q-Labs will prompt the result high or low with arrow. Dispose the used test strip and lance it properly in a biohazard sharps container. Click the results icon from the main menu to check the test results. Click the result list to review the detail information. Click the bin icon will delete all the results. Click search icon to query result with start time and end time. Click check to confirm. The selected results will be on the list. Click the print icon to print the results when the Q-Labs is connecting with eStation 2. Click the upload icon to upload the results while the Q-Labs is connecting with DMS software. Monthly routine cleaning is recommended when the Q-Labs is in regular use. Use recommended cleaning solutions. Disposable wipes containing a, a quaternary ammonium compound up to 0.5%, single compound or mixture. An isopropyl alcohol up to 55%. Recommended names of cleaning cloths include PDI Santa Cloth Plus and Cavi Wipes. Steps to clean and disinfect the Q-Labs electrometer. Turn off the Q-Labs and gently remove any gross debris and wipe the entire surface with cloths recommended above. Using a new cloth, gently wipe the entire housing, including the LCD screen, sample, and button areas. Do not insert or press cloth into the test strip guide, data port, or power supply jack areas. Keep the Q-Labs in a dry environment to avoid moisture. Please review cleaning procedures as detailed in the user manual for additional instruction. Q-Labs Electrometer Cleaning Strip is also available for Q-Labs Internal Cleaning and Disinfection. You can purchase cleaning strip from your local distributor. Simply insert the cleaning strip into the strip port and pull out for several times to clean the internal part of the strip port. Remember to return the Q-Labs to the protective carry case for storage. Error codes and corrective actions are listed in the user manual, section 12, troubleshooting. When you receive an error code, refer to the list and retest. If you receive a second error code, then contact your local distributor, technical support for assistance. Thank you for choosing the MicroPoint QLabs Q3 electrometer.